So I want your reaction. Let's start first with our representatives from the House Squad Committee, specifically Representative Abante and Representative Dan Fernandez criticizing how the Senate hearing was conducted. And you heard Representative Abante stating that, in effect, uh, Duterte was given so much leeway, right? In effect, there was a compromise in the hearings uh, that uh, his, his allies were allowed to take over. Let's start with that, Senator. Well, number one, uh, the so-called allies uh, really outnumbered the, let's label the other side, the non-allies. The allies outnumbered the non-allies in a, in a, in a majority-ruled uh, proceeding. And then the, the majority has the advantage. Yeah, so yun. And then, pagdating siguro sa given too much leeway, because uh, former President Duterte became the star personality there because... We were also uh, supposed to share the time, the limelight, with uh, Garma, Leonardo, and the victim families, and even Kerwin Espinosa. Ganun sana yun eh. Marang, in my mind, there were, re there were really five, uh, five compartments or five segments. So President Duterte, uh, President Duterte Garma, Leonardo, victim families, and Espinosa. So what happened? Wala yung tatlo. So uh, the time allotted, uh, so, supposed to have been given to that, the three who were absent, I just decided to allow, to let the, the former president just uh, get this time. Because yung iba, yung iba kasi like, uh, yung sila, Senator Laila Dilima, nag-commit naman sila that they can attend the uh, subsequent hearings, Attorney Shell Jokno, Attorney uh, Father Flavi, and uh, and the victims they can they can attend in the next hearings. So I just took advantage. Nagi practical lang po ako na anjan sa harap namin yung isang former president na actually sabi nila first time daw nagkapira isang former president sa Senate hearing. So it must be it must be a it's it must be a rare uh, occasion and very difficult to invite a former president to keep on coming back. So, ganun po nangyari yun. So, just took advantage. So, gave him time. Pero may time limit pa rin because we all, we all had uh, we all had our prior uh, commitments that day. So, we, we also had to to stop the hearing at a certain time. Okay. I think let's get specific here. Would you have done anything differently? Uh, it seems that the criticism of these uh, representatives is how you conducted the hearing. Yun ang una kong tanong ko. Uh, should you have been tougher on the former president? Should you, should you have interrupted him? What do you think, Senator? Yeah, sig siguro yung uh, uh, number one is probably tama si Senate President Chis Escudero that I got desensitized about the cursing. Uh, and by his, I, I, I saw an interview na he counted the curse words around sabi niya 21. And uh, I, I only intended to allow one. So, nalusutan po ako ng dalawampu. So, yun po, isa yun. Pero yung rumbling, kunyari, the witness is rumbling, I will, I'll, I'll give some allowance. Na. I give some allowance because, you know, we want to get uh, as much information from this person as possible. So, let him testify freely uh, according to his style and not unnecessarily interrupt him. So, yun siguro, pero, pero nang tapos, pansin natin, that's not only the rambling, but also the repetition. Uh, so, pinayagan ko na rin yun because uh, nag-extend din naman kasi ako ng mga around two hours. Eh. So, so, binigay ko na po sa kanya yung two hours na yun. Okay. Let's talk about that. Do you believe the president was rambling? Or frankly speaking, by letting him speak, he put himself in trouble. As the person who will uh, write the draft of the committee report, so I I, I want to be I, I I want to ask for uh, understanding that I cannot yet right now reveal all of my thoughts, all of my reactions. Because it is a kupuyan. But what is what has happened is that the testimony uh, was under oath. 
Therefore, uh, those of us who will now go over the testimony because we have the obligation to write a report and recommend something, we will treat all of his statements as serious statements. Unless he qualified it, he qualified the sentence as oh, the following sentence is a joke, then we will really treat it like a joke. But if it's if it's not qualified as a joke, that is an uh, under oath statement. So, so dadanan po namin yun. And even if even if let us say, uh, yung uh, the <clears throat> the sentence is is about this subject matter, and then uh, the second sentence negates or 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 contradicts the first sentence. We will have to take it into context. Babasahin po namin yan. Ano ba yung konteksto? So, and then, he cannot control, the former president cannot control our decision-making process. Kung ano ang paniniwalaan namin sa lahat ng sinabi niya, nasa sa amin na po yun. Hindi niya kami madidiktahat ano dyan ang dapat namin paniwalaan. Bako. Do you believe that by letting the president speak, he revealed more? He revealed a lot because that uh, number one, that is his way of speaking. Uh, if you interrupt him, then he will now restart. He will start. He will start again from the original thought, and we just keep on repeating what has been stated because before you interrupted him. So you let him speak. You get more information. You get more details. You get you get more cuento. Oh, so I'm using I'm using words lang uh, Karen uh, uh, objectively because I will. As the subcommittee chairman, I believe it is my responsibility to come up with the first draft of the subcommittee report. Then, ini sini circulate ngayon yan. Mag-agree yung iba, mag-disagree yung iba. Good morning. Now, what do you make of Representative Abante? We often talk about uh, interparliamentary courtesy. What do you make of Representative Abante criticizing you? how you conducted yourself when, let's face it, you and other colleagues don't criticize the lower house or now they conduct their own hearings. Ako nga, actually, I have refrained from commenting on how Quadcom conducts uh, uh, its hearings. Pero siguro, I will just allow that as a constituent abante. Siguro, ganun na lang. I will just accept his criticism because he is also my constituent. Diba, national yung constituency namin eh. So, he is my constituent, our constituent. So, he has the right to criticize us. Pero ganito na lang kasi. Yung Quadcom na yan, uh, why, why don't they just subpoena the former president and require his appearance before them? Eh, Ang dami rin, rin nila kasing cheche boreche na invite, not invite, invite, not invite. Eh, subpoena nyo na lang and then, pag nandiyan na sa harap ninyo, then uh, get the information that you want to get. And uh, I hope that your proceedings will be uh, more perfect than ours. Okay, so I want to ask you this. You have Representative Robert Ace Barbers now saying that uh, Duterte didn't look like he was of frail health when he attended the Senate probe. And he said that uh, he was hoping that Duterte would show up at the next Quadcom hearing. Ang tanong ko, if um, the Quadcom subpoenas the former president and he refuses to appear, given he is a former president, can you actually cite him in contempt or have him arrested? Is that allowed? Yeah, uh, House rules, can we ask them about their house rules? Okay. Well, so, me, let, let, uh, let me explain the subcommittee's rule. Kasi I am not an ordinary committee, I'm just a subcommittee. Actually, the subcommittee has been deprived of the power to cite in contempt. Mm. Uh, because that's that's the uh, section 20 of our rule. So, Siguro yun, doon, doon lang yung mga tao na nakita oh, nila na oh, committee hearing ito sa Quadcom, ang bilis ng ano, tri trigger happy sila ron sa pagdating sa contempt eh. Uh, puno na yata ngayon detention center nila, puno na. May overflow na sa yeah. women's yeah. correctional, sa Believe It Ba, or what, sa Quezon City Jail. Oh. So, so meron silang power to cite in contempt and they've been uh, freely uh, freely uh, been citing generously been citing people in contempt 
the regular committees ng Senate, meron din power to cite in contempt, but a subcommittee, wala. Maligayang pagdating sa Team Sam TV, ang inyong maasahang source para sa mga pinakasariwang balita at kaganapan. Kaya, i-click nga ang subscribe button at huwag kalimutang pindutin ang bell para ma-notify kayo sa tuwing may bago pa ng video. Team Sam TV, inilalapit kayo sa mga balitang kailangan ninyo, araw-araw.